Welcome back. As temperatures rise, it's putting some added stress on our furry friends, especially dogs, and it could lead to increased aggression and even the chance of heat stroke. And joining me this morning with some helpful tips is the medical director for Pet Wellness Clinics, Dr. Rachel Hello. Campbell. Thanks for being here. Of course. Okay, so you gave us some stats, so we're going to share these first with people. Um, nationwide, and I think we're going to pull these up, more than four and a half million people are bitten by dogs each year. Wow. Uh, bites are more likely to occur in the summer, and children are more likely to be bitten in the head and neck than adults. Also, most bites happen during everyday activities. So, going to talk about first, what are some good ways to just prevent dog bites? I think one of the things, of course, like they just you just mm -hmm. said, I mean, children are the biggest concern, of course, because uh, making sure that your children understand how to approach a dog or if a dog approaches them, like how mm. they should react to that, mm -hmm. you know? So teaching your kids as young as you can about body language of dogs, um, the way their ears look, the way that their face looks, are they licking their lips? Are there, what's their tail doing? Like actually, even if you have a chance, go showing videos of what that looks like. So when it happens, they have a chance to, to know if maybe they need to be a little bit more guarded than others and always ask permission before they ever, mm. ever, ever go to pet a dog that they don't know. What would be um, some bad body language that you notice? So in general, most of the time it's pretty obvious. Uh -huh. um, when when animals are barking, 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 you can tell they're uncomfortable. They're kind of forward or even lunging. Um, but e some of the more uh, more subtle signs, again, licking their lips, they might be uncomfortable yawning. They might be a little uncomfortable. Oh. Their ears can go back a little bit. But you know, they seem more guarded and not super friendly coming at you in a friendly way. Um, those can be signs that they're not really comfortable in that situation. And then that's of course going to potentially lead to a situation where they're, you know, um, potentially going to bite if they're yeah. afraid enough. That's this is helpful. Thing. Yeah, these pictures. So that's like I said, like on a smiling mm. versus a warning on the back. See those ears are back. You can tell he's worried. His tail's down. Um, he might be looking away or trying to avoid the situation. So those are all body <laughs> language things that that can be taught very early with kids, especially since they, you know, of course, are going to be the ones that are that are at most mo most risk. So. And at that point, you give them space. And what should a child do, or anyone for that matter, if an unknown dog just approaches? Yeah, I most of the time I'll tell people just to stand still, you know, okay. um, especially if it's an unknown dog with no collar, you don't know where it came from, you don't know any of its history. If you're in an, an area and you don't see any owner around, um, most of the time, especially with children, again, just don't try to approach the dog, just, just stand still. You don't want to try to scare the dog to where you might be, it might feel defensive, like it might yeah. become aggressive if you have no idea about any of its history. What about some tips for dog owners to help their dog succeed? Yeah, so again, don't ever push your dog in a situation that they're uncomfortable. I mean, it, you start to learn your dog, and if you can tell that they're uncomfortable in the situations, make sure it's a very, very controlled, controlled environment that you can actually start to get them more comfortable being around other dogs or being around people, being around strangers, you know, that you can teach them how to become more comfortable by positive reinforcement and talking to a behaviorist if you're not sure about that. Yeah. Talk to your, you know, your veterinarian about whether or not you need to maybe even reach out to one. Um, otherwise, you really have to be very, very careful about being social, you know, outside of your home. Even in your home, though, with your own kids, if you're nervous about your dog, maybe you have just had kids and mm -hmm. the, the dog was the baby and now he's not the baby anymore. Those dogs might not be comfortable. Dogs, most of those also happen indoors with dogs that they know. Yeah. And so, of course, teaching your kids how to uh, how to um, either avoid them or, or approach them if they need to. That's what you said. It's mainly everyday yeah. things that mm -hmm. you're doing. I had told her that when I was like three, I was learning to walk, tripped over my grandparents dog and fully bit my eye yeah like, I was gonna yeah. and, and that's what we talk about the warm summer months I mean we're out kids are outdoors they're mm -hmm. running and playing and for dogs that can be very very scary they're like what are they doing and there's water and there's stuff balls and you know they're like <laughs> exactly. excited but they're a little nervous and they're doing weird things so that in a dog's and in, in a lot of dogs minds it can be very very scary and that's of course yeah. any 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 dog I don't care how nice they are. I love my dogs too, but like if they're in a situation myself, if I was a dog and I got scared enough, I would bite, you yep. know? So like you always mm -hmm. have to know that that's always a possibility, even with the sweetest, nicest dog, if they're scared enough, it might happen, so. This was awesome advice. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much You're for welcome. coming in. Welcome to the temporary yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have more information on how to prevent dog bites, all that we talked about on our website, fox59.com slash links. A lot of helpful resources, really, from all the times you've been here, so Aww. thank you. Thanks.